Well, we came a long way to bring food and agriculture high on the international climate change agenda. FAO has been part of this journey for a while and we reach this level now where the whole world is paying attention to the importance of food and agriculture in tackling the climate crisis and the biodiversity loss crisis. So what we want to see is agri-food systems being an important part of the solution to this crisis. And FAO has a lot to offer and has been supporting countries and farmers to adapt to the impact of climate change. We have been providing many tools and political and technical support to countries and farmers to transition to more sustainable and resilient agriculture and agri-food systems. We have been supporting also the presidency to COP28, the United Arab Emirates, in developing a framework that can help us accelerate the transformation of agri-food systems to make them more resilient to the impact of climate change, more inclusive, more sustainable and also more efficient in terms of using natural resources. And we're very pleased that the presidency has been leading the development of this framework. And the starting point of this framework is to secure political commitment, political will.